Nyola Flanders is searching for something on these pages to ease her pain. Today she leans on Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and hope. For in this Palo Seco home, hope remains the last bastion of opposition to death's door. For a woman plagued by a ceaseless and unrelenting agony in the last 13 years. I live a life of pain. Pain to me is a cry, but nobody not hearing. Flanders is battling three medical conditions, all she said are incurable. Sickle cell anemia, undifferentiated connective tissue disease, and pyoderma gangrenosum. The sickle cell causes blood clots. The connective tissue disease compromises her immune system, causing her body to fight against itself, while the pyoderma gangrenosum, a skin disorder, has left open sores on her arms, forcing doctors to remove layers of her skin, leaving exposed tendons and a mass of pink, white, and yellow tissue without the protective top layer of her epidermis. A sight so grisly that we had to bleed for more sensitive viewers. It feels like something is chewing it. Like there's chewing, eating off. A tragic blow for a woman who was once the most heavily sought after hairdressers in the area. I had gifted hands, and now every incision, like if they try to put an access, or if they give me an injection, it just bursts open. And now the mother of three, who once sees life and opportunity with a firm grasp, now takes sleeping aids, hoping for the day to quickly end, in morbid anticipation of yet another day of anguish. I feel robbed because I have the potential to do so much and I, I had dreams of doing so much. Smothered in an avalanche of antibacterial medication and bandages, Nyola is aware that there may be no pain-free days for her in the future. But her doctor told her that if she had an implantable port, then it would be at least less painful for medicine to be administered. A small mercy for a body and soul that have been through so much. Even doctors marvel at her fortitude. Now due to her condition, Nyola survives on a disability grant alone, barely enough to feed her and pay for medication she needs. Anyone wishing to help her with the medical procedure or to donate basic necessities can contact her at 336-3237. That's a very good question. I can't remember. Akash Samaru, CNC3 News.